so how you can help. Basically, I want to give a brief comparison. Uh, in Alameda and Contra Costa counties, this is the piece of the pie that those local county sales taxes gives towards BART-related improvements. Um, anywhere from 9% up to 24% of the revenue for these sales taxes in those counties goes to BART. By comparison, in San Francisco, it's anywhere between 0.4% and the highest is 6% that goes towards BART. Um, we would like your support in advocating that uh, BART is critical and should get a bigger piece of that pie in essence. Um, and that's what's summarized here. Also, there are what are called benefit improvement districts, and this is more for property owner consideration. Um, benefit, we recently had legislation passed last year that allows BART to have benefit improvement districts set up within the one half mile radius of the station. Property owners get to vote on that and invest in what they vote on um, as a share of their property taxes to go towards uh, these improvements at and around the park stations. Um, we are considering a $3 billion, that's kind of the number that's been going around anyways, bond measure for next year. We've not voted to finalize that, but it is in consideration. And finally, I'm happy to hear your feedback on what you would support as a funding source to address our state of good repair needs. So, in conclusion, leaving it short and simple, BART needs uh, the region and the region needs BART. The economy of the region could not survive without BART. The, the road infrastructure simply could not serve the volume of uh, travelers without the support of BART. But BART needs the region too. BART cannot uh, survive without the support and the funding support from the population that uses it and relies on it. So I'm happy to answer any questions or receive any comments. I don't know, now's the time you want to facilitate yeah. this, Michael, or, okay? Yeah, certainly, Matt. Uh, yeah, I just occurred to me, you know, football teams have very enthusiastic fans and they pay money for uh, football-related uh, logos and, you know, uh, and, and, you know, like souvenirs and, I mean, maybe there should be some kind of tchotchke, excuse my word, uh, you know, kind of sort of, uh, you know, boosterism. I know this is, you know, this is really crass, but it may work and it may generate a lot of money. Um, so, I'm not sure I understood the suggestion so that we would have someone or uh, some kind of actively. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking maybe what uh, I'm getting Something along those lines, maybe. But yeah. there's also the part about which she's also pointing out is also very important. Is every time we, have, but San Francisco is a main uh, thoroughfare, and every time we have a parade or any special event, uh, people have, can't use necessarily uh, public. Uh, they have to use public transit to really get there um, on time without, you know, if you use your car, you're going to be having more time for parking. Uh, one of the things that's happening, particularly down here, just exists. We're losing all our parking lots to our development. Uh, parking structures, parking lots and structures. So uh, uh, where do we park if we don't have the places to park? So we have to think about where's, uh, how do we keep our infrastructure going? And so when uh, we have the Super Bowl, when we have all these different uh, 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 large uh, things happening, they should be, uh, be thought of as there should be money siphoned off of those events to uh, make uh, BART and other uh, transportation hubs functioning because we have to supplement those uh, times. Or I, I think I understand the point. It's limited what we can do because it's a public transit system. Yes, but see, I give you an example. A good example of that is uh, the cable car. Okay. Um, it's, it's not used the same tier. Uh, it's a transit. It's a public transit, but it's also a tourist transit. And so they are actually jack up the prices there and actually have a kiosk there. To, and that uh, price is consistent. Well, I don't know, I'm not a tourist, I don't go there. I just know, uh, though, that the, the point being is, uh, you know, if you think about a day pass versus a, a, a non 
going past. So it's actually jacked up for the day pass or the weekend pass if you're right here. So it's those different tiers of um, so right every non residents be paid more. So at Bart, you can pay single ride. We also have high value discount tickets. But, but also but we don't discriminate based on something for non residential. Non residents. Well, people, no transit people agency business. provides that and we yeah. get sued if we did that. That's not allowed by law to discriminate yeah. based on residency and non residency and so on transit system. That's getting into the duty. Yes. Your question right here. Okay. I have just one question. I was just wondering how long has well maybe two questions. How long has BART been operating, please? BART has been operating since seventy four, so we are forty one years old this year. And next question is, is the upstairs escalator uh, also yours as well as the downstairs escalator? Um, we technically own all of these stations in, in the Market Street corridor, um, but we we have arrangements with Muni about who's responsible for what. As far as the street escalators, that's our responsibility as are the BART escalators inside. One last question. How long going to take you so 41 years to make sure that they don't break down by way of uh, elements of the outside. Why it takes all this time to get to the idea of putting up there to take the escalator so it won't break down so frequently. Um, I, I don't have an easy answer to that. I've been on the board for three years, oh, yeah. um, so I, I wasn't around. <laughs> but I think it was historic prioritization, and we were carrying much fewer passengers at that time, so the strain of all the walking and the traffic on them was much less significant as compared to today. It's just become an increasing problem with population and economic growth. Um, here and then here. Um, I don't know if they still do it, <coughs> but when metal sticks was around, Muni had buses with a special football or baseball fair. Muni. Because Bart thought about having a fair for baseball games that's uh, not the Giants, but a fair, or a fair for the football game. I know you're going to San Jose, and I mean, we hopefully someday may get to San Clara, the football stadium, um, and, um, but you do go to Oakland. So if you thought about putting in special fares to pay for the ridership going strictly to those ballparks. Um, no, and the reason why we, whereas buses are able to, they have the road Work with, so they can implement special routes to serve special purposes and charge those routes exclusively. We don't have that. We have a set track system, and all the routes that run on that are open to anyone, be it game goers or non game goers, etc. And there's no way for me to discriminate when you tag on and tag off whether you're a game goer or a non game goer. So the fares are equal for everybody. Have you thought about running special trains for games? We have higher frequency games for trains, but anyone and everyone uses those. They're not exclusive to game goers. Um, there was a hand here for a while, and then I'll come up. And you let me know when my time is up. Sure. Are you, will you be losing seats by adding the, the new third door on the train? Good question, yeah. So there will be about two seats lost per car, um, but a lot of our trains are not the maximum length that they could be, which would be 10 cars. So in net, you would get an extra car at the end, which would increase your overall seating. But there will also be more space to stand based on the new design, and it will increase the capacity threshold for each car. So the standing will be more crowded? Uh, there will be more standing, yes. Um, here and then there. Yes, I am. Saying, you know, you know, what people are saying is like when, when there's a good game, have special fairs, and you know, you can't really, you know, when when a person is saying that they're going to this game, you can't really, you know, direct that, you know, confirm that, you know, that they're that that what they're going for to get the lower weight, um, you know, but at the same time. I, you know, because I remember, you know, like when Arnold Schwarzenegger was in office, you know, we had the crash, you know, the, the you know, media prices were, you know, more than double in a few years. Um, 
you. I, I think everything that you're saying is, is good, and if, if there is a valid measure on the, on the board, it's something I would definitely support, because I think that would save from having to raise, you know, raise prices yet again, which that seems to be the one thing that a lot of people have trouble with, um, especially like, you know, me, I'm on SSI, um, you know, I, I, you know, I, I'm not making, you know, $150,000 a year, you know, um, so it's, I don't, I can't, you know, travel back and forth as much as I'd like to, but, you know, also the few times I have traveled hasn't been too good because of the condition of the cars, which I guess, you know, I've, heard, I've seen on the news, you know, that Jim Park is planning on upgrading those, yeah. and that's a good thing, and I think, with that, and you know, I think with that, it would, um, you know, I mean, I know I would certainly be going, you know, over to East Bay more so. Um, but you know, the few times that I've, I've had to go over to like, um, you know, down, um, you know, south, uh, south of Oakland, um, it hasn't been too nice because of the ride, and I have a slip disc. You know, so, you know, it's, my back is like, you know, kind of not all that well. Um, there is you know, but priority seating for you. I know on a crowded train it can be hard to get yeah. in there, but certainly assert yourself. And, it's like, you know, and I want to get in with my cane, and the, the one seat that, you know, reserved for somebody for, for, for disabled is like, you know, I have to like sit, sit you know, in, in the back, um, which is, is actually worse for my back. Right, right. You know, um, but that, that's a whole other, you know, issues. But I think, you know, um, with the upgrading of the cards, I think, you know, the, you know, I would definitely go, you know, I would support the bond measure, um, you know, if it was on the elections. Yeah, I think that would be the best idea for Bart. I appreciate that. And I guess there was a hand in the back, yeah. Yeah, I, I would like to ask some questions about the disability uh, access points. Uh -huh. um, Powell Street, the, the elevator there has been down forever, and, and I'm wondering what the plans are to bring that back up. Because that escalator, of course, is not good for wheelchairs, and then these type of chairs is very, very difficult. Um, the, the one on Civic Center um, is constantly broken and so filthy. I have to say that the tenants, the tenants there are very good about the services reported taking care of things. But the inner access um, elevator is constantly down also for access. Your disability access points, uh, the one by Montgomery where they have the construction, it is so hard to get around there, get to your elevator from that direction. I mean, I know there's a lot of construction going on, and we have to make allowances for that. But the escalators going down, even for people like me, because I have been able to work and train myself in getting down escalators, down escalators anywhere in the city are very, very hard to find. Um, that's the main list of issues that I have found for disability. I'm just wondering how much of that will be addressed in your economic package and stuff, because uh, disability access is a big thing. And on, on your funding stuff, I know you, I understand about sponsorship um, through your advertising and stuff. And I think a way of inter interchanging with the sports teams is if, if they have um, one or two days during their season to where they maybe pay access for people who can prove they've gone to the park with their ticket. You know, that maybe they would be willing to pay a certain amount of money to the line as far as getting, helping to get people there to their, to their, um, their games or anything like that, but that is possible. Um, well, there's mutual mar marketing agreements sometimes uh, with different events. Um, they'll pay to advertise to use BART to get there, and um, that, there's that component. We, again, we can't really charge the venue or the rider for using BART to go to one event or another. That's not. Why well, do mean charge? I know a lot of these, these sports clubs come forward with liking to make donations for people. So I didn't know if they'd ever been approached to help in funding and getting their, their sports people there. Or anything. But I'm more interested in the disability. That
that was just a suggestion. Yeah, the disability, disability to answer issue. that, elevators and escalators are part of that bond package. In addition, um, one thing that San Francisco is supporting us on, since it affects both Muni and BARD, is upgrading some of those elevators. So some of the tax dollars from Muni and the CTA in particular will be supporting that. And a down escalator every once in a while along the line, uh, three or four times or something. Right, so the elevators and escalators are part of that package. Okay. Um, if you want a specific update of when an elevator is going to be become available, um, you can speak with me uh, afterwards and I can have someone circle back to you with that information about a specific elevator or escalator. Thank you. Um, okay, that's going to be the last question. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks. Um, I was just wondering... Question. Um, yeah, uh, why was it that the element was always broken down, and why was it quickly repaired, and why was it always dirty and funky, and why was you know what, what was the reason for that? I mean, uh, you you look you get run, getting run the money to help you get the thing together, right? Okay. Um, why was why why did it take uh, this time for that to be acted and kept in care of constantly? Because you do have a lot of disability people here, you do have a lot of people who are you know, wheelchair detained, whatever. They needed to use that. And why was, that, why was it kept up there? Um, when things get old, they are subject to a lot of problems. And that's the story with our elevators and other components. Well, well actually, no, 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 no. I don't yeah. accept that one because there was times you get you were able to use it. But when you get inside the elevator, and you, somebody okay. get their business but in there. Excuse me. Positive no, no, this, this, is, this is positive because it's an honest question. I never ask anyone to talk about it. I never ask honest questions. I want honest answers. Okay. Okay. So I guess you can judge me as being dishonest. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Are you on crazy? No, no, no. Not, no thinking. So I, I think to sum it up, people like to see, make sure it's, it, it's uh, whatever bond measure one is, it includes the disability issues. But I, my more concern is that, uh, that it, how it translate, who pays it off if it ends up the renters. Or uh, do the property owners have to take part of the uh, pay the money back or something like that? It's always the wording of whatever goes on the ballot. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're more concerned about how something's put together and ends up on the ballot, who ends up paying, uh, and, and so forth. Because it comes up with a great idea, but when it's the final draft, it's uh, hurting uh, uh, people uh, to uh, you know, make them pay more for the, for the outcome than it's not. Okay, uh, so we're right in the middle. Trying to get uh, food out in the, on the tables, uh, so we're going to start with our next uh, presenter. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you. 